My flatmate's grandmother has never met Bill Gates, but she's met Jen. Jen lives here with me, and I did an episode of Good Newsweek for the guy who met President Bill Clinton. And the two Bills, well, they're like that. So via a few steps, my flatmate's grandmother meets Bill Gates. In a nutshell, that's the six degrees of separation theory. The idea, which originated from a 1960s play later made into a movie, says that anyone on Earth is separated by at most six connections from everyone else on the planet. Its most famous application so far has been in a bizarre internet game, The Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. The game aims to link Kevin Bacon with every other Hollywood actor via a chain of up to six actors who starred in movies together. For film buffs, it's surprisingly easy. But only six steps from you to anyone else on the planet? Well, it seems a bit bizarre until you consider the mathematics involved. Assume that you know 100 people, and each of them know another 50 people that you don't know. Each of those 50 know another 50, and so on. Do that to the sixth degree, and we get the incredible figure of 31.25 billion people. Now, the population of the entire planet is only 6 billion. This seems to suggest that six degrees of separation is more than enough to connect us all in an incredibly complex network. Now, this could all seem trivial, except for new research by Queenslander Duncan Watts and Stephen Strogatz at Cornell University in New York. They've come up with a mathematical model that promises to turn this concept into a powerful tool. Until now, most research into networks has used models of either regular networks, in which every point is connected in the same way to neighbouring points, or irregular networks, which have randomly connected points. But by introducing just a few random, longer connections between an otherwise regular group of clusterings, they dramatically reduced the number of steps between different points. They had created the small world effect. To see if the model reflected real-world networks, they tried it out on the brain structure of a nematode worm, the power grid of the Western United States, and the credit list of film actors. Each one fitted the bill. According to Watson Strogatz, having as few as 1% of the connections linked to distant parts of the network will trigger the small world effect. And that's precisely why the Kevin Bacon game works because a small number of actors have played a wide range of very different roles. So only a tiny minority of well-travelled people are needed to make the whole world just a handful of acquaintances away. And the small world model has much more than curiosity value. Jesse, let's go. See? It can be used to study anything that has an irregular network, such as the spread of infectious diseases, the burst of brain messages during an epileptic seizure, or the signals in electronic circuits. So I guess Walt Disney was telling the truth. It is a small world after all. But I don't know if I believe the Peter Pan stuff. <laughs>